My presentation today is showing some of the troubleshooting issues that I'm having with my 3CL switchboard sender. I have a relay that's got a short on a make contact. So I'm going to remove that relay and either repair it, find a short, or replace it. It's in a register circuit so that when I punch in a number, I'm getting an er erroneous outpost. It's adding a digit two to the call. This is the relay that I have to remove to repair. The rear of the equipment um, with the wires, of course, connect to the relays. This kind of shows you how difficult it is to work on this. I do have an envelope here so that any solder drops or wire clippings will fall off onto the floor because you do not want them to fall into the equipment and create additional problems. Here is the relay removed and cleaned up. Apparently there was something that was wedged in between the contacts, the make contacts, and of course after going to all of the trouble to remove the wires, the short is now gone. I'm not surprised about that, and it is a pain, but sometimes this is the price you pay when working with this old equipment. Where I have my yellow spudger was the relay that I had to put wires back on. And down here on the envelope is some of the solder splatters and garbage that come off while I was re-soldering it. That was from the wire. The front of the sender, the problem I was having with one of the digit storing relays is it was operating on a latch lead prematurely. So every time you stored a digit on that register, it added a two when it outpulsed it. So if you dialed a five, you got a seven. If you dialed a one, you got a three and so forth. And that definitely caused some major issues. Hopefully this will fix the problem. The 3CL switchboard. If you find any of these videos showing some of the problems and the required repairs to make them work, please leave a comment below. I'm not sure how many people are interested in these type of videos. Have a great day. Thanks.